Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic. I've been commissioned to make a clear traveler's notebook, actually a full one with inserts and vellum and everything. So this is how I've started it. So I went to Michael's to pick up a few things partially to have in my stash and partially to use for that. So I picked up some of the small eyelets from Michaels and I think I will eventually go back and get another pack of these. This size is pretty hard. It's difficult to find these. So I looked up and found those. Then I also these are for my junk journal project. Um, the Pink Albert uh, Paper Stack Challenge. And I'm doing my journal, my junk journals will be Christmas themed. So I picked up this stamp because I want to do some stamping in them. And then I have some other Christmas stamps to go with that. I also picked up this Raven or Blackbird stamp from Michaels and this pumpkin because hopefully if I can get finished with my Christmas journals I will get some Halloween themed journals done as well so that's pretty much it for the smaller items that I picked up and of course I had to hit the hot buy paper pads um, I probably paid too much for this pad but I plan to use it on the clear notebook the clear travelers notebook project it's not too girly it's not too youth oriented so I think this would be a good fit and this is what the papers look like I think that is just beautiful these colors so very simple a lot of watercolor washes And maybe this one. Let's see. I think those would make nice covers for a clear traveler's notebook. Just, yes, that would be beautiful. This, this, this gradient of color is just so pretty. And this is just vibrant and beautiful. I don't think the color is coming across well on the camera. It's like an aqua. It's got more green than blue in it. And it's really, really vibrant. And maybe the camera just can't pick up that color, that tone of color. And I love this color as well. Those two colors together are just perfect. And this confetti this would make a nice cover too and these are the cut aparts really cute really nice color schemes and that's it for this paper pad and it's called on the bright side and it is a hot buy from Michaels. And I have a few things to share that I have hauled. Um, the first is some washi tape from, I just had her card, um, Pretty Packages. And here's the information. And this was already open because I've actually already used these two rolls of washi. This is like a blue purple with a little teal undertone um, foiled washi but unlike the foil washi that I opened from 
um, the LOL, this foil washi did not stick. If you saw my plan with me where I used the LOL washi, I had to actually use glue stick to glue that down. Um, and my last plan with me that I recorded, I used both of these and they stick fine. So this one works and this one has foil, uh, silver foil crosses and this is the gradient that it has. So it's these are all I consider mermaid unicornish mermaid unicorn ish color schemes. Then I got these which I have not opened yet. This is a gold go blah, blah, blah. it's gold foil music staffs and notes. And this is what it looks like. And then I have this one that is a ticket based washi for movies concert just basic tickets this is what this looks like and then last but not least i have this wood grain and that's what it looks like i guess i could take this one out of the paper so you can really get a good look at the wood um again these are from pretty packages and that's what that looks like. So I thought that was really neat that it really looks like a nice wood. It would have been even better if it was washed wood, but it's wood. So I got those. Then I had a couple of packages come in the mail. This one is from Ollie Clip. And it is my latest order my latest ollie clip it's um a glitter gradient this is a small and let's use this this is how this goes on Whoop. so that's how ollie clips work And they hold really well, better than paper clips. You don't have to worry about, say, if you put it in your, if you put your planner in your bag, you don't have to worry about these falling off. They're pretty tight. Magnets are really strong. And this is, like I said, this is the small size. I also have some of the larger size, but I don't have any nearby that I can show. But. I want to tell you what this one is actually called. It is called the Small Rainbow Ombre Shimmer Magnetic Ollie U Clip by Ollie Block. And it's ollieblock.etsy.com. Or there's also a website, ollieblock.com. That's O L I B L O C K.com. So I got that. I took advantage of one of the peachy planner or peachy cheap deals um, on Instagram and there's two there's two profiles one is just peachy cheap and then I think the other one is peachy cheap planner or peachy planner I'll leave the information below but they had a pack of Prima items I don't remember what the price was and there was no packing slip and I'm thinking that this is not everything maybe I'm wrong I don't know it seemed like it was more than this at the time but it came with these stamps these cling stamps it's 17 pieces this is all prima So I got that. This 24 piece of flowers. Prima flowers. Okay. This 47 piece ephemera. So it's got acetate shapes and paper shapes. So that's cool. 
and then this 53 piece of ephemera this one is stickers I believe and chipboard it's very light chipboard though no these are just regular die cuts but it does have some stickers in here as well well you can open it without tearing it apart so I don't know what made me think this was a really good price for Prima stuff I really thought there was more to this kit or more to this than there actually is I'm gonna have to go back and look because I'm a little disappointed at how much I got But I figured these would go well with some of the Prima papers that I have. And again, I'm doing junk journals. So once I finish my set of Christmas journals that I'm still working on, then I can just do general vintage style journals or just general girly style themes. And these will come in handy for that. Also in Happy Mail, I received this set of 48 glitter glitters um, to review. And I have several ideas of how I want to use them. But it is 48 colors. They come in these little cylinders like this. It is a very fine glitter. And I'm excited to try them out. I think I'll be starting out with the black and the white. Here's like a white Snow White. And this is Onyx Black. But the colors, it would be nice if there was some notation of the color on the top. Since they have them neatly arranged in this box like this. But the colors are also listed on the end here but again I don't think they're in the order that they are in the box so what I may do is go back go through and put the numbers on the lids but I think that would have been a great touch if they would have been labeled on the tops so anyway I'm excited to try these out so that is it for the glitter. Then I also purchased a D stash box. And here it is. And this is all dyes and things like that. And I'm just going to quickly go through and share these with you. Um, this is my first ever purchase of a D-Stash. So anyway, let's get started. I got this die and stamp set. This is a set of letter, die cut letters. Um, here's the die cuts. It's just alpha. Then this set of stamps and dies. Here's another stamp and die set. It's kind of planner based, but they're really too big for a planner, I would think. Um, but I also think this will go on the coil. Yeah. It's meant to go on the coil, so that's nice. I do use a coil planner for my um, health tracking so I may be able to use that for that and I think she also included this paper pad from my mind's eye it's double sided paper which I really like so there's that then I think these were my two least favorite things in the um these stash they're just totally not my style. I don't do kitty stuff. 
but I did not let that deter me and this one was another one the um, castle then here is a movers and shapers Tim Holtz die it's just like a medallion I don't know what you would call this mini baroque okay then these are some Moroccan motifs again dies then this is a die for a um, a flip it card or a pop-up card or I don't know what you would call it but there's that here is another Tim Holtz die this is mini cabinet card I may have to look this one up to see what that one is about this one I really like too this is a Polaroid frame or instant photo frame so that's gonna come in handy then this one I have a thing for envelopes so this really caught my eye as well this is another envelope die yes to all the envelope dies this is a frame this is another frame die. these are flourish corners dies these are snowflakes coming in real handy with my Christmas planners another Tim Holtz um, die this is postage stamps or a bottle cap and stamp these are nesting dies um this one is called majestic labels one so this is really nice and then this is a belly band two This is Gold Labels 34. And this one is Tag That. Not that crazy about that one either, but can work with it. Then I have this Flower Lily. And this comes with all of these pieces to make this flower. So I have lots of dies now. Then this is an emboss and deboss um I guess it's a plate. I don't know. I've never seen these before. Yeah, ooh yeah and this one is snowflake it's four and a quarter by five and a half so it's the size of a card that's dangerous <laughs> but i guess you would just run it through the dye machine just like you would um uh, embossing folder kind of so the sandwiches, I'm sure the sandwich is different for those, but then this one is flowers. And this one is butterfly. So that is everything in the D stash box. So I got a few more things that I've ordered online. This first thing, it's a Martha Stewart punch that I found on eBay. It is used, um, but it's in very good condition. So it doesn't look like it was used much at all. And this is what the punch looks like. what it looks like when you punch and then you can do the whole um, 
and oh, wrong side. You just line the design up with what's on the punch and keep punching. So, and that's what it would look like. So I picked that one up. I have other Martha Stewart punches, but I've always wanted this particular design. So I just kind of lucked up and found it on eBay. Then I also ordered from Simon Says Stamp. This is the card that came with my order. Um, I also ordered the Tim Holtz Stitched Slots die. And it makes this like slot where you can slide cards and little ephemera die cuts in it. I hadn't opened it yet, so let's take it out. Oh, and it comes in a little case already. That's nice. A pretty heavyweight, thick plastic um, cover, so that is really nice. So this is the die, and this is like a label that goes on this little section of the die. So I'm going to run it through and cut real quick so you can see what it actually looks like when it's cut. Okay, so this is what the die cuts. This is what it actually looks like. And then this is the label piece. This is double-sided paper. And you would put that there, maybe put a sentiment on it. And when you glue it down, you would glue it down on three sides. And then you would be able to stick little ephemera pieces down in the slots. Kind of like a business card slot. And you could use this in, a, in your planner as well. And I may even just cut a few sets and put them in the shop if anyone is interested in getting them for adding to your planner. So I got that. Let's put all of that back in there. This is a really nice cover or a case or a holder or whatever you want to call it. I really like that. And then I also got some of the fall release from Simply Gilded. And let's pop this open and see what we got. I don't really want to cut the sticker as usual. that up. This is the card. It's really cute. It's got rose gold, the perfect day. So this will definitely be going in my planner. Okay, this first set this is what it looks like. It's rose gold and it's like an ombre of red to orangish to like a very faint greenish color um you can barely see the green on that and i'm going to give you the name of it this is autumn sunset and i'm just trying to give you a good look without so much glare okay then this next one is slate gray. It's just a gray color. Maybe I'm just going to have to take the plastic off. So you can see that better. This is just the thinner one. And this is what it looks like. It's coming across as blue it looks like on camera. But it is gray. It's like a medium to dark gray. And then last. This is nude. This is the bow sticker, and this is nude. It's like a beige color. Let's open it up. So, this is what it looks like. And then it's got gold bows. The slate gray has gold bows also. So, I got those colors and what they all look like. 
I guess I could take the one off of the autumn sunset. Okay, so here's another look at the autumn sunset. I don't know what color that is at the bottom. It looks like it was part of the beginnings of a green gradient, but you can see up close what it looks like. And again, those bows are rose gold. So that's it for this week's Wednesday's haul. If you like videos like this, be sure to click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.